Uber launched their driver rewards program, Uber Pro, late last year, and sure enough, Lyft is following suit by launching their own driver rewards program. So how does the Lyft program compare to Uber Pro? So just like Uber Pro did, uh, Lyft is doing a trial launch of their rewards program in 11 markets. Uh, the markets included are Austin, Boston, Chicago, Denver, Minneapolis and St. Paul, Nashville, New Orleans, New Jersey, Philadelphia, Pittsburgh and Washington DC. And like Uber Pro, and you may be beginning to detect a trend here, there are rewards tiers. The minimum points for each tier will vary by each market. The minimum rating, so you don't have to have a minimum rating for silver. You have to maintain a 4.9 for both gold and platinum. And you can redeem points for cash and ride credits at every level. So silver, gold, and platinum. And you can redeem points for cash back only at the gold and platinum levels. And other rewards are cash back on gas, using the Lyft Direct Debit Card, Allstate Roadside Assistance, Free TurboTax Self-Employment. You can see trip info before accepting a ride, and that info will include expected trip duration and the direction of the ride, and that's only available for gold and platinum drivers. And at the platinum level, you can also get a monthly AT&T credit. And the thrust of the program is to get drivers to drive during the busiest times of the day. You earn points for every eligible dollar that you earn during the busiest hours. And quickly, eligible earnings are your base fare, your time and distance rates, shared ride pickup earnings, and tips you receive. So bonuses and fees are not included in eligible dollars. And how you earn points is kind of confusing right off the bat, so let's take a look at an example. All right, so let's say you drove six hours on Saturday and five of those hours were during your market's busy hours. And say your eligible earnings, which again are your base fare, your time and distance rates, your shared pickup earnings, and your tips during those five busy hours was $100. And say in your market you earn three points per eligible dollar, take 100 times three, and that will equal 300 points. Say you do this for five days, you'll have 1,500 points. So next, let's talk about the most important thing, and that's how much cash you can earn back with the program. So as we discussed in the example, if you earned $500 during the busiest hours, that would get you 1,500 points. And if we look back at how you can redeem points for cash, say you're at the gold level, you'd be able to get $5 cash back for every 500 points that you earned. And since we earned 1,500 points, you'd be able to get $15 in cash back, about a 3% pay increase. All right, so that's the Lyft Driver Rewards program in a nutshell. So now how does it compare to Uber Pro? Um, let's get this out of the way right away. It is actually slightly worse than Uber Pro in almost every way. So first of all, understanding Uber Pro is just much easier. Um, you earn points for every single ride that you give, but with Lyft, you only earn points during busy hours. And how you earn points, especially at first glance, is really confusing. And as far as driver rating, uh, with Uber Pro, you only have to maintain a 4.85 rating to get to certain tiers. With Lyft, you have to, to maintain a 4.9. And also acceptance rate. Um, with Uber, you only need to maintain an 85% acceptance rate to get certain perks. With Lyft, you have to maintain a 90% acceptance rate to get certain perks. And most importantly, and I'm not sure how Lyft will will roll in the weekly ride challenge bonuses, if they're gonna go away completely with this new cash bonus system, um, if, they'll, if they'll still include those. But the cash bonuses that Lyft provides with their rewards program compared to the Quest bonuses that Uber provides with Uber Pro are much lower. And there are other things that are really similar like cash back on gas using debit cards and also free roadside assistance. But in my opinion, Uber Pro outpaces Lyft rewards at just about every level. But overall, this is a good step forward. Any driver rewards programs are good for drivers. Um, Uber started with Uber Pro, and now Lyft is, is offering their own rewards program. Um, but what do you guys think of these programs? What do you think of the Lyft rewards program? How do you think it compares to Uber Pro? Uh, leave a comment below and let us know. Uh, thanks again for watching. Please like, comment, or subscribe and drive safe. Thanks.